And welcome back, everybody. So we are going to be live in the Roy Oliver case out of Texas. Again, this really incredible story about an officer who's on trial for the murder of a young 15-year-old young man uh, named Jordan Edwards. We're trying to understand what happened. The prosecution has begun with their opening statement, and we'll go back live in a minute. But right now, we have a very special treat for you. Our very own editor here at Law and Crime, Colin Kambacher, who's been carefully monitoring the... Uh, good morning, Colin, who's carefully been monitoring the Paul Manafort case out of of, uh, Virginia. He's on the ground there. He's been there every day of this case. Remember, this is President Trump's former campaign chair who's on trial for bank fraud, tax evasion, tax fraud. A lot at stake here. We want to bring on Colin and talk about the latest development. What is happening right now at the courtroom, Colin? Uh, right now, the jury has been deliberating for uh, roughly, I'd say, half an hour. Um, they were instructed to go in, not to begin their deliberations until. Um, they received all the exhibits and perhaps a verdict form. And there, there wasn't much to, of a to-do or anything along those lines, except for right after the jury uh, was sent back to their break room, actually, they're using because the jury room itself is a bit too small for everything. They're using their break room, and uh, Judge Ellis got a, a bit of a rise out of the court by asking, Mr. Trump, what are you here for? Um, now that's a few good. moments, uh, a few moments of silence, and then uh, actually, defense attorney Jay Nonavati kind of broke that silence by breaking into laughter. Everybody followed. The Trump in question was James Jim Trump, uh, who is an assistant U.S. attorney here in the Eastern District of Virginia. So, a little, little bit of amusing fireworks display this morning, but not too much is going on. Uh, now we're playing the game known as waiting. And we got to talk about the timeline right now. So, we do you sure. expect a a verdict today, I mean, it's so hard to predict, but you've been there every day based upon the evidence presented by the prosecution as well as the defense. Do you expect a verdict today? And number two, when would you expect a response from the White House? Well, I would imagine, if I could take that in reverse order, I'm, I'm sure the White House has something pre-planned, I would imagine, uh, if they're semi-competent, though that's uh, always an open question these days, I suppose. But um, a, a verdict today... It's it's a it's a it's a rough call. That's not a prediction I'm necessarily willing to make here. They have a lot of evidence to go through. They have a lot of charts to look at, uh, dueling charts, in fact, from the government and from uh, the defense. And uh, it's 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 quite a big paper trail. That's ultimately what this case is going to come down to, I think, less so than any of the or more so than any of the witnesses. I would say the witnesses le uh, to a lesser degree, uh, especially because you know you have the Rick Gates factor, his credibility, all that. Um, but mostly it's going to come down to what's on paper, getting those jurors to now it's their turn to kind of put the pieces together. So um, if there is a verdict today, though, I would say probably later in the day. Um, but you know what? It's just baseless speculation at this point. So aside well, from the fact that I've been here for a while. You have been there for a while. Listen, go outside, get a tan, enjoy the nice weather, and we're going to come back to you because there's always so much to talk about in this case, including the potential for a Trump pardon. And also, right. what does that mean in terms of perhaps the uh, Mueller's team has reserved some state charges that wouldn't fall under the, pre the purview of a pardon? This strategy, this chess game is so interesting. And Colin, you were going to talk about it with us a little bit later on today. But if there's an update, Absolutely. make sure to come back on, Colin. I'll be back just as soon as you need me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, right, we're going to go live right now. We're going back into Texas. The Roy Oliver case, I believe the prosecutor, yes, is still delivering his opening statement. Let's find out what happened to this young 15-year-old boy and why he was shot down that night. Let's go.